Hello, I have returned. I hadn't uploaded a video in about a week, so I asked you on Twitter what you wanted to see, and the majority of you said top seven list. So here it is. The top seven most mysterious photos you won't believe exist. It was difficult not to include this photograph of Kim Kardashian reading a book in quantum physics, but I just assumed it was photoshopped, so I didn't really want to include anything that may or may not have been faked. Starting off the list at number seven is this photograph of a falling body. Now, it is unusual to see a falling body that isn't Madonna or Beyonce, so this one kind of intrigues me. Basically, the story which often accompanies this photo is that a family called the Coopers bought an old house around 1950, and on the first night in the house, the father decided that he wanted to take a photograph of the mother and the grandmother with their children before or after dinner, so he took the photo, and everything was fine. They were just smashing life, living the dream, but when they eventually got the photo developed, they noticed that a uh, body was hanging from the ceiling, which is incredible evidence that they're not blind. There's also a lot of evidence that this image was created in 2009 as a form of horror art, but was quickly latched onto as an actual vintage photograph. I don't know, it's, it's mysterious, which is why it's on the list. Number six is the skunk ape, as it's been christened. Not actually christened, I mean, there's no way that fucking thing's getting into heaven. I mean, if it does, I'm leaving. I mean, P Peter, Peter, fucking St. Peter, get that thing out, get the skunk ape out of heaven. Jesus, Jesus, get that thing out of heaven or I'm leaving. I am leaving if that thing isn't left. Anyway, around the turn of the century, a lady in Florida took two photographs of what she assumed to be an escaped orangutan in her back garden, but Bigfoot believers quickly latched onto it as obvious evidence of a skunk ape Bigfoot. Because that's what they do. <laughs> Um, I personally believe it's a photograph of the dude from LMFAO after a heavy night out. Uh, or me! Coming in at number 5 is the Babushka Lady, who may have captured the events of JFK's assassination on film from a unique angle as she still had the camera to her face after the shooting. She's never been properly identified, although in 1970 a lady called Beverly Oliver came forward and claimed to be the Babushka Lady. She claimed that several days after the assassination, two men came to her work and said that they would develop the film for her and bring it back to her within 10 days, but they never did. Apparently, Beverly thought that the two men worked for the FBI and gave the camera over willingly because she was scared of being arrested for possession of marijuana. A little bit of puff puff puff. If they did work for the FBI, conspiracy. A little, love it. A little bit of conspiracy. Common question of the day, guys. <laughs> did the FBI kill JFK? <laughs> Okay then, so number four is this photograph from 1941. Notice anything unusual? This dude here is wearing sunglasses, a modern t-shirt, and is holding a modern camera. Time traveler? Or just, just way ahead of his time? It's been theorized that this is John Tito, the only relatively possible time traveler apart from the Doctor who made many predictions in the early 2000s, none of which actually have happened. But hey, if he is actually a time traveler, then good on him, you know? They said he couldn't, he said I can. I, I can't, I can! <laughs> cause he's um, cause he's wearing, cause he's wearing a cardigan in the photo, cause he's um, yeah, <clears throat> sorry. Number three is this photo. Look at it, look at it, look at it. There it is. This photo is mysterious and also creepy as fuck. It's thumb believable. <laughs> Woo. Now, unless this guy with the swagalicious sideways baseball cap is actually Mr. Tickle from Mr. Men and has an arm longer than a political debate about a national bird, then there's someone else in this photograph. Apparently, no one else was there that day, but the hand could belong to a friend of theirs who died several months prior, which really doesn't help me sleep at night. Oh, the extra hand. Yeah, that's my dead mate. No biggie. Yes, biggie. Yes, biggie, indeed. Okay then, so we're looking at a normal World War One Air Force photo for number two. Just a standard squadron photo. Totally normal, apart from the fact that on the same day that this was taken, it was this dude's funeral. Just chilling in the back row. Literally chilling, goes to cold. No oxygenated blood running through their veins. He was an air mechanic named Freddie Jackson and had accidentally been killed by an air propeller two days prior. Several squadron members recognised him when seeing the developed photo, which is just... creepy, if anything. Is it a hoax? It might be a hoax, it might just be a fantastic Air Force 1919 prank, you know? It's a prank! That's it! It's a prank, bro! And finally, at number one, we have the sexiest bowl cut alive. Not even me, circa 2010, can top that perfectly sculpted coconut beauty. Oh, and there's a spaceman in the background. Let's talk about the spaceman. In 1964, Jim Templeton took three photos of his daughter in the same pose whilst out on a day trip, and only in the second photo did the astronaut show up. Apparently the only other people there that day were two old people several hundred meters away and nobody saw an astronaut. Also, photo analyst experts have looked in the photographs and confirmed that they are genuine and haven't been tampered with. All I'm saying is the day the doctor died. Subtle, subtle wink. S subtle. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved making it. I'm glad to be back in the swing of things. Let me know what sort of videos you want to see. You know, let me know. And, and if you want to see a video, a specific video, let me know in the comments. My Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook links are down below. I'll see you guys very soon. Goodbye. It's just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. He's not actually dead. Classic 1919 banter.